thought this was a good time to check in with MUSC's Dogs for Joy campaign and learn more about how these four-legged furry friends are bridging pediatric health care and companionship. We'd like to welcome Betsy McMillan, Child Life Manager, and Michelle Jeffcoat, Child Life Specialist at MUSC's Children's Health, and they've brought Sweet Baskin and Agnes, two very special hospital dogs with them. Ladies, it's great to see you. Thank you for joining us. Look at these sweet angels. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the campaign that you've got going on there at MUSC. Um, so Baskin and Agnes have been with us for almost a year now. They came and they started in September of last year. Um, and we got a grant through Joy and Childhood to be able to fund both of them. Um, we went to training and learned about all their special talents. And then they work with us here in the hospital to meet therapeutic goals when we're visiting patients, families, and staff. Betsy, why is it important to bring dogs into a hospital environment? Dogs are unconditional. Um, they are so comforting to children and to their families and our staff as well. And children don't have to answer questions from a dog. They can just cuddle with them and lot of their stress away and it's just very comforting. I, I mean just looking at Agnes right now she is as calm as can be. I would certainly think that emotionally that would put someone at ease immediately but it takes a very special dog to be able to do that. Michelle can you tell us what some of the criteria are for hospital dogs such as Baskin and Agnes? Yeah, we got our dogs through the program called Canine Assistance out of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and so they raise their dogs from puppies and they train them um, on being, they call them educated, not trained. So they're very smart animals and they have lots of experience in the community and in hospitals. Um, so they're kind of in and out from birth, really experiencing this environment, meeting kids. Um, their vests are a little bit different than service dogs because they say ask to pet me because um, we want people to be around them and to be supported by them, especially here in the hospital. Yeah. Well, all of this is made possible with the Duncan Joy and Childhood Foundation. And for years now, they have raised tens of millions of dollars to help further their mission of doing just what they're doing with these two dogs, as well as helping children battle not just illness, but also hunger. Um, are they only right now at the Children's Hospital or do you bring them by the other parts of MUSC? Right now we're primarily focused in the Children's Hospital. Um, Betsy, like she said, works in the hematology oncology unit and in the clinic. Um, I mostly cover the acute care unit up here on the eighth floor, but we see consults um, all over the hospital for those specific therapeutic reasons. Um, and we have a list of care team members to be able to consult them and to be able to see different families and different patients on different units. Um, we would love to be able to expand to different areas as well. I know there's been great work in the Institute of Psychiatry and other areas across the country that have had and use these dogs in different ways. And so we're always brainstorming different areas that they can be uh, of service and can be used effectively. Wonderful. Ladies, thank you so much. I can see Agnes is now melted onto the floor. Uh, <laughs> I think Agnes should be Baskin. <laughs> Ladies. Thank you so much. And thank you for sharing Agnes and Baskin with us. They are beautiful, wonderful creatures. Thank you for doing what you do. Coming up